Hi, I'm Sky Kubakub, and I'm the creator of Rebirth Garments, which is a clothing line for the full spectrum of gender, size, and ability. What does that mean? That means that I like to make clothing for every kind of gender, not just binary genders. I like to make clothing for trans folks and non-binary folks like myself. And I have partnered with the Chicago Public Library to bring to you Radical Fit, which is a year-long program all about making clothing that feels good to your body. Harold Washington Library asked me to partner with them for this program because of my manifesto that I wrote as the ideology behind my clothing line. I wrote this manifesto in 2015, right after I started my clothing line, Rebirth Garments. It's called Radical Visibility, a queer crip dress reform movement manifesto. And it's all about how us as queer, disabled, fat, and TOC folks should visually take up space and physically take up space by being radically visible. So today we're going to be working on a project that doesn't require any sewing at all. I just want to get you in the mood of being creative and thinking about clothing in a totally different way. One thing that I hate about the typical fashion industry and society is that they tell you, oh, you only wear a t-shirt one way, you wear pants a certain way, you wear shirts a certain way, and they kind of just don't promote creative thinking. When I was younger, I started liking to wear clothing in, in different ways, just like, you know, not the way that they were originally intended. So that is the exercise that we're working on today with this no sew workshop. So I'm gonna take this long sleeve shirt. Typically, you know, you would wear it just putting your neck through the neck hole and your arms through the arms and the armhole. But I'm gonna turn it upside down. I'm going to stick my legs through the armholes. And you know, depending on how your body is, you can, you can th these are just different props of things that I like to do, but you should just make up your own. Like it doesn't have to be like this. So now I have my body like this, where I have my legs through the armholes. I have the little hole for the neck and my crotch. So take this, fold it over, and then I'm just going to roll this down. And now you have a pair of drop crotch pants. If you're worried about the waistband coming undone, you can just use one handy little safety pin. And I mean, you can even just do it like this, where you safety pin it through here. Yeah. So next we're going to try on this. So now this is just a normal t-shirt. Who cares about putting your neck through the neck hole or anything like that? What we're going to do is put your head through the armhole and your arm through the neck hole. So now you have a fun kind of a cowl neck one-shouldered kind of thing going on. You can make this drapey here. And if the shirt's bigger for you, it can be more drapey. First no so look. Next up, we have a button-down shirt. Something that a lot of people have in their closets. And this is kind of fun. You can try to do the same thing as the long sleeve shirt, or you can just kind of look at how you might want to wear this. You could do something where you're, you tie the arms together and you have another little one sleeve wingy thing. You can, I think that the way that I want to do it, cause I did this and then I was like, ooh, so this could be kind of like a interesting skirt. And you can either do it where the buttons are in the front. And you have these little 
little arms and I mean you can also tie these behind you and make a little bustle or you can you can pin them in different ways like I just play around with it I think I like how it looks where that's in the back because you have this little like pleat that's in the back of most um, most button downs and then this is kind of a little more like a little peplum a little architectural and this one yeah maybe I'll tie that be like this but actually I think I like it with the little arms flap and so then people can see that it is actually just a, a button down I'm gonna have this so I have this little vest I actually really like wearing this vest with the button in the back I really like high necklines because I think that they look very vintage and then I like the kind of diving plunging back line and then having these little tails so yeah this is look number two I would just really recommend getting a whole bunch of clothes that yeah you like the patterns of and the colors of and just putting them all out on the floor and just you know trying them out like oh I'm gonna wear these cargo pants as a little a little shrug vest and uh, uh these leggings. I could wear this skirt as a wig on my head. Kind of have a little uh, a nun nun look going. Um, oh, belts are really good because you can just belt things to you. You can take this coat, much like the the button up shirt, and just zip it up. Tuck things in if you don't want them to be seen. And just belt this on. Instead of safety pins, you can always use belts. Um, maybe try something else for this look. Um, for anything with thin straps, tank tops, sports bras, you can just stick your head through the armhole and put the straps over here so that it kind of creates a nice little cutout look. Something like that. So these. And this other jacket, a little tailed jacket. You can just wear it backwards. Actually, it looks pretty good to me. Um, can belt that again. Can belt this high up. Okay. Very high up. Like that. Or actually maybe more like a, a vandalier. I feel pretty good in this look. Ooh. Once you're in a look that you feel good in, then you can, you know, play around with how it feels. So this one, I, I really like how this chain drapes. Um, I can, I also like how these little tails flap around. So can, you can play around with what kind of movement your garment makes you move. And if it has any restrictive parts 
or if it has parts that let you move really well because of how it's put on your body. Just like, you know, explore, explore it. Just like seeing how they feel when you're walking. When you wake up in the morning and you put on clothing, if the clothing does not feel comfortable, it can ruin your whole day. I, as a young person, uh, always had to wear my socks inside out or, and my underwear inside out because the seams, which I called bones, would dig into my body. And it was just so uncomfortable. And as soon as I would get home from school, I would uh, change my clothes because it, it just would hurt my body so much. For me, comfort is the most important. My clothing line started right after I took off a semester of college because I had this mysterious stomach disorder that started and I could no longer wear what I like to call quote unquote hard pants, uh, which is just jeans. I couldn't wear anything stiff and uncomfortable uh, on, on my stomach or waist. Uh, I see clothing as your armor, but also your emotional armor. So it should make you feel strong and confident to be in clothing. If you do feel like you can safely wear your new creations out and about, uh, you will probably get stares or, you know, get people saying things to you. Um, when I really started dressing this way in, you know, late grade school, or early high school, I would get lots of weird comments, but it was always really interesting to me. I like to see it as a, a social experiment to see how people treated me and kind of play with that. So when I was 15 or 16, I used to get grabbed a lot on the street by creepy men. And so I decided to start wearing this makeup that looks like a tattoo and, and my headpieces that look, that are literal armor. And that helped, I saw it help dramatically. So many less people would grab me and, or like, you know, be really creepy to me. They might comment on things. Uh, lots of people would be like, well, you're never gonna get a job with a face tattoo. But like, I didn't care what they said because I just knew that it felt really good to me. It, it made me feel really cool. It made me feel powerful and it kept creepy men away. So I was really into that. And that's kind of been my look ever since. This is how I started getting into fashion design. I started, you know, trying on clothing, seeing what felt good, what parts of the, the clothing I, and like the silhouettes that I really liked. Uh, lots of times I would take pictures of what I did afterwards. I haven't even looked at the mirror. I don't even know what I look like, but I know I feel good in it, which is the most important. But afterwards I would take pictures and then kind of see which of these silhouettes that I really liked. And then later on, when I started my clothing line, uh, I would kind of draw back on those silhouettes and it just really helped me get out of the box with my thinking about what clothing should look like. You don't need to know how to sew. I, with a lot of the teens that I work with who might not have parents who are as supportive, like this is a great outlet. You can just do this in your room and you don't have to, you know, you, you don't have to like ruin quote unquote your clothing or like have clothing that um, your parents might get upset at you for having. You can just start taking clothing and wear it in these new ways. And it kind of like, yeah, it subverts the clothing. It also subverts the, the gender binary. Um, above all, I would like to promote that you can you can wear whatever you want. Everyone should just have the freedom to wear any sort of item of clothing that they wish in any way that they want. And so that's what the No Sew Workshop is about.